Hi everyone, uh, today I am going to walk you through another editing tutorial, this time using one of my go-to presets um, <clears throat> that I use for portrait work. Before I had shown you an edit without using presets and I like to do that because when you're first starting out in photography or a hobby, it's expensive to invest in presets. Um, presets that are really well vetted and worked on and that actually have good results. They can be quite expensive. So I always tell any of my people that I'm mentoring or people that ask that to learn Lightroom, all the capabilities within Lightroom, as much as you can before you invest in presets so you, that you get comfortable with all the different settings to hone in on your look that you're going for. And then once you find yourself at a high volume or higher volume workload with editing, presets can really save you that time and it's worth the investment. So um, we're gonna go ahead and edit this image. This image is of me and I recently took it as part of a product shoot for this mug, uh, Etsy store owner wanted some lifestyle shots and um, I asked if it was okay if I just modeled for her and she was perfectly fine with that. So we're going to go ahead and edit this image of me and I'm going to go over to my presets panel and I do have a number of presets here but what we're going to be using is um, Noble. Noble is a light and airy style uh, preset that emulates film so one thing I love about it is it gives it that nice creamy skin tone that everybody really likes and it's really easy to use and I think um, I think it's a great preset all, overall so this is the final look that we're gonna be going for here's a, a before and after that was not the before and after so here's the before here's the after and so I'm gonna walk you through all the steps using the preset to get this look all right, so I'm going to go ahead and right click, develop settings, reset. All right, so I'm going to go over to my Noble Signature preset here and click on that. And you can see some minor adjustments. A lot of things immediately change here. And you can see all those settings um, right there. So what we're going to do from here is we're obviously going to bump up the exposure here. Probably right around there and immediately the photo is looking really great um, the tones the colors of the greens the blues all look spectacular um, but you can see that my skin looks a little like magenta y and cool so what we're gonna do is we're going to bring up the temp here just a little bit I think that's good I like to zoom back out to see how it's looking at a whole as a whole for the entire image, but um, really look, when you're thinking about colors and skin tone, you do wanna make all adjustments and see how they are affecting the skin tone here. And the other thing I think, I am seeing still some magenta in the skin tone. I'm gonna pull that down just a bit. You can see that change, right? So um, if I go to my history, I can show you what that change. It's very subtle. But right there and there is the difference. So it's very pink there, a little bit less pink, a little more natural, but we still have beautiful tones in the overall image. And honestly, I think that's really all that I would do to this image. Literally, it's a one-click preset. There are other adjustments in the preset that we can do. You can add pop. Um, actually, the pop is pretty nice. Um, maybe I'd add some of that um, just to give it a little more contrast and then I would up the shadows perhaps a little bit. Um, but that's that's pretty much it. That's all I would really do. There's a bunch of other, you can turn the grain off, grain boost, magenta neutralize, all these different tools, but they really help save time when you're thinking about um, high volume editing. And uh, that's it, guys. So if you have questions about using this particular preset or if you want more information on where I got it, happy to share. It's called Noble, and uh, it's a film emulating preset that has a very light, bright, and airy look to it. All right, guys, that's it for today. Bye.